So what exactly is a ganglion, I hear you ask? Well, highlighted in this image here are some examples known as the spinal sensory ganglia. If we take a closer look at this image, I can show you that they are collections or bundles of the cell bodies of afferent neurons. The efferent neurons of cranial nerves 3, 7 and 9 also form ganglia. The cell body of a neuron, also known as the soma or a ganglion cell, houses the nucleus and most of the organelles of the neuron. From the cell body arise one or two axons, and in some cases, dendrites. Microtubules, some of which we can see circled here, exist within the axons and dendrites, and are used by vesicles to transport neurotransmitters to and from the synapses. The ganglia act as a connection point for the nerves which innervate a particular tissue. You can think of them as being like a telephone switchboard, as they allow the coordination of signals between areas of an organ that are distant from each other. And the best example of this is the ganglia of the intestine coordinating peristalsis. But we'll talk about that a little bit later in the tutorial. The location of a ganglion is dependent on the type of neurons employed by its respective nerve system. So talking about the types of neurons...